Hey everyone, Meosity here. Welcome back. We're uh, restarting Ambush after a few things happened. Um, I had some very, very bad luck on the Leviathan when we went to it, which was literally the first fight after doing the. And I'll, I'll love the guy talking, then I'll explain. And the outside world was a dream we could scarcely remember. A after starting the beginning of the next area um, in the last episode. Um, so basically what happened was we went into the or I went into the Leviathan and uh, we had Dismas who was our main bleeder and we had Saramenti here. And then uh, so they were both trying to do the bleeds and we had the trophy and the trinkets to have burns set up on them. And even though the Leviathan only had like a 30% resistance by the end of the fight on both of them, he uh, never got bled a single time during the fight. And I think he only got burned like three or four times during the fight. And nonetheless, we did get him to death's door. But um, Adversity is the he kind of ripped the group apart after that. So, even though, you know, despite the fact that I had horrible luck and Baldwin was constantly going down, despite the fact that I had put the um, thing to try to resist the hand doing the undertow on him, um, it, it just didn't work out. So we, we do have to start the run because it was a complete wipe. So we're going to be redoing that. Um, I am going to be making a few changes because I want to try a few things out after that. We are pretty much going to be sticking with the same skills. Uh, if I could click the right things, that is. Dismas here is going to be still on the yellow hand. I want that to uh, apply on hit melee schools, bleed resistance down. And I'm still not sure about this double cross thing i might use it i might not and if i don't um i might go into take aim it depends upon how much i use before something big um l here i'm going to be taking sacrificial stab off for vulnerability i still want to be going into the ritualist path for baldwin here um i still have kind of an idea on how i want to use him Um, I might be taking Hugh off for uh, Rune during um, some bigger fights, but I have to actually remember to do that. That's one of the things that might have actually changed the Leviathan into a win if I remembered to do that. And then some of the subsequent runs that I tried afterward. This is like run seven now because I've been having such horrible luck and I've been having a really hard time remembering to do that. Um, so maybe I'll remember to do it, maybe I won't. But Sarmenti here is a real one I want to try things on because I've been doing the Virtuoso. And Virtuoso is amazing. Plus 20% max HP, plus 3 HP. Each ally on the turn start has a 100% resistance to stress for two turns. 15% uh, chance to have that happen. It does get some resistances down. I'm not biggest fan of that, but the rest of it way outweighs what that does. However, I do want to try him on Soloist. Now what this does is 20% extra damage, 30% bleed resistance piercing, which goes into the fact that Dismiss is already lowering bleed resistance, and we're going to be using Harvest a little bit. Um, and the other part I'm not sure about is, because I tried this out on the other runs, bleed skill or bleed causing skills gain plus 10 percent crit now it doesn't show up on the skills when you do that so um slice off and harvest still show as having a five percent crit so i'm not sure if that's the extra modifier afterward causing them to have a 15 percent crit or if that's just kind of bugged not sure i think that's always throwing me off I'm not using this is minus 20 percent health and three speed However, um, Al's already fast enough, so Al can be faster than Dismas, getting Dismas a combo. 
then Sarmenti can still go getting a combo potentially for Baldwin if he needs it. And if not, we can harvest, getting more bleeding out. That's the hope of this. We're going to go with it. And we're going to have to see about pets and stuff like that once we get to the end. That's another thing that's a little bit up in the air. Um, at this point, actually, I'm kind of hoping for the rabbit. But if I don't get the rabbit, I really want the orphan wolf cub. And, of course, I'm trying to say as much of this as possible because if something happens, uh, I want to pick up that in again. And um, so if I get a trinket or something here, uh, you'll notice that it might not be there at the end. Uh, just if I try to reload or something like that. Uh, just because of how my luck has been tonight. <laughs> uh, we are going to pull this widow. I'm going to leave the combo there for Baldwin, I believe. So we're going to bleed this one. And of course, he can't hit that. So we're just going to try to take one out. Let us hope to finish this okay. quickly. And then. I, I think I said this in my last episode, but I'm still kind of on that energy low um, that's been going on. So I, I, there might be times during the episode where I just don't seem like I'm not that into it. I am, I promise. Um, it's just that I think this is the eighth, ninth time I've tried to shoot this now. And I'm just feeling still a little bit under the weather. Things are happening and... Yeah, it, it's Rest nothing big. I'm not horribly sick. It's just uh, taking a lot out of me. So, trying to get through it. <laughs> but, and it's something I'm trying to do to keep my mind off things. The so, heart does much for the weary body. what is this? De-stressing, so that'll be nice for later. For the restless soul. Like I said, if I seem a little bit lower energy than normal, and I'm a little bit lower of an energy person to begin with. Um, it, it just is what it is. Uh, for this episode, once again, maybe next few episodes as well. I'm not sure how long it's going to be going on. Nothing too big. It's just uh, continue from here. And if uh, <laughs> for whatever reason I have to reload, this will be for where I have to reload and I might not have that book of body tales. <laughs> Learn what can be taught. That you may Actually, we will uh, also do the end. masteries and stuff like that, so we don't have to redo those two. Because we're always going to be taking Fate to Black, and we are going to be taking Opening Vein, because we want the combo from Fate to Black. That's huge for Sarmenti in this group, and Opening Vein is going to be our... Or Open Vein is going to be our main damage dealer for now, going into the next area. And then the one other thing I think I forgot to mention is uh, I noticed that last episode that at the end of every episode I've been doing, I've been uh, doing all of the in stuff and then like so using say I, I failed the last <laughs> Attempt the Leviathan was the very first thing it did, and I had horrible luck with it again. Um, so I'll say these tarot cards, and so that would up everyone's um, affinity or minus it. And then um, I would stop the recording, stop the game, and then when I loaded it up, the playing cards would be back, and everything else, say like any buffs I use, any mastery points I use, things like that, would also be back, and I would have to try to piece together what I did and hope that everything would be the same, which for someone who's trying to RMG manipulate might be fine, but for someone just trying to go through the game kind of casually, not really trying to do. So I think I'm just going to start doing that at the beginning of every episode from now on. So that's one other thing to note. Um, so I'll be doing that from now on. All right, so after a few uh, failed attempts, <laughs> we uh, ended up not being able to go to the shroud, but we're out 
we're going to be going to this brawl, which um, was another one of the things I wanted to go to. I think there's a few things that would prep us for being able to beat the Leviathan, which has a few trinkets we want and Behold, has a few things that uh, would set us up fairly well, I think. So let's do this. And a flame. Um, we do want to go to the lair. How we're going to get there, I don't know. We have to scope that out. We're sticking to the right side, it looks like. So let's go get this candle. A lot of candles, actually, it looks like. And we did end up with the undead rabbit, so we're going to be sticking with as much food as we can. Probably not using a lot of it unless we absolutely have to. Your path lies through them, and so they must fall. And I suppose we'll stick with him for now. And actually, I did pick up a um, thing for the wagon that I generally haven't tried before. I wonder if it actually shows it here. It does not show like a resolute chance anywhere, does it? That skills pet. No, it doesn't. Okay, so we picked up the um, food barrels, which if you have more than 10 of or 10 food in your uh, inventory, you get plus 10% resolute chance. And also, I think it upgrades how much food you can store to with that food barrels. Um, oh, I messed up the thing that Dismas has. We'll have to fix that after this. But anyway, so... Um, I'm, because of that, I'm actually contemplating taking off uh, Inspiring Tune on Sarmenti. Um, the only thing that's stopping me from doing that is it seems like after four or five stress, they suck and they start getting really mean to each other and start like really degrading the um, relationships with each other. So that would be the one downfall, maybe doing that. But like. Having Resolute happen in a fight might actually be really good. So that was my thought there, but we'll see what happens. We're really trying to take out this sacrificial right now. Um, might be able to take him out too. We're going to keep harvesting to try to bleed him. He doesn't really have too much health, so we're going to see what happens. There we go. One less obstacle in our and now if they attack at all, hopefully, um, Dismiss is repulsed, however you want to say that, um, it's a back, but they don't seem to be attacking him at all. Oh, or vulnerability, I keep getting those two mixed up, hoping to, uh, do some extra damage there. There we go, and I believe that's our win now. Let's see things out. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a sketchy fight taking on the Librarian. For the mere fact that we really can't do too much damage to him until he's at least in row 3 and then 2. So, we're, we're going to see what happens here. Uh, dismiss gets back. We are going to pull the Widow. Well, I guess we didn't pull her, but that's fine. Um, let's get started on the big guy. Really, even he resisted that. That is my luck tonight. Right, we're going to raise the wit, comboing. The slow suffering begins. Yeah, that is really my luck tonight. Um, let's pull so that we can not do what I wanted to do this still though. Oh, 
people once again, baiting the black, blinding him so hopefully he doesn't murder us. The hue will take out the lost soul, hurting him. He bleeds, she does nothing. Oh, he still hit us. Lovely. Can we pull her now? At least get rid of a corpse? Alright. Get rid of her. Beating her, she'll go down on her turn, meaning just the big guy. We can hit him with a chop. We'll go to Death's Door, hopefully bleeding out. Persistent yeah, we didn't have to go through six death doors this time. Of threats. The past is gone. And we got that Adrenalizing Ash, which actually might not be bad to have. Uh, for now, let's throw that on him. Actually, before we go anywhere, I am actually waiting that out. We might still want Harvest for the fights on, or getting to the Librarian, which is why I did take that out. Otherwise, I would have just traded Harvest for Right. Um, combat item, trinket with mixed work or positive work. Let's go for the trinket. That's probably going to be very needed. Martyr and nervous. Unnatural ping. Copy all positive tokens, you say. Yes, please. And then Sarmenti, just in case. We're going to the resistance encounter because I think that's the only way to get to the lair. Decidedly inconvenient. At least we know what's coming. Pillaging brigands, enriching themselves as the world collapses. All right. Few people in here I don't like getting rid of the fire mouth. I'm gonna bleed him out. He goes uh not this turn, but his next turn, because he's going right now. And then we don't gotta worry about him. Um I am gonna intimidate. I think at the dog. Want to get rid of that dodge. Now it's not going to do much for the riposte. And we have the taunt on Baldwin. All very good things. Uh, now we're going to put a combo on the dog. Getting rid of the riposte, as I said. We're then going to Demon Bowl Crack Shot. Putting him in range. Dismiss is going to open the vein on the dog before the vein. Also annoying. Fire your mouth dies. Dog didn't bleed. Bold fast. For who knows Crack shot goes. I think he's going to move back now. Nope. Okay. So Baldwin and Hugh. Getting rid of that dog. Cutting crack shot. We can then slice off. I suppose, making him bleed or just killing him. He's back in range, which we needed. Bleed him. Weakening him. Oh yeah, there we go. 15% crit. Alright. And he goes down on his turn. It does say down in the little thing when you go to hit them. It just doesn't say on the actual tool or skill tool tip when you hover over it in the actual character box. Gotcha. So 15% crit on that is very nice. And here's another burning pile before we go to the library. 
guess these two are gonna be buddies and Sermenti's not gonna be happy. Okay, we're gonna want that shaman down first. So let's demon pull. Bleed him out. And that's that. On to the next. Intimidating, so the pit fighter actually targets him. Good old weakening. Um let's raise her with the whipper. Bravo. Vulnerability hex the no weakening the combo on the fighter. Because then we're gonna bleed him. Six a turn. Then we're gonna chop him. It's gonna take a bunch more damage in a minute. Now we're bleeding them more. It's taking eight around. He's not gonna go down on his next turn, but he's gonna be very close to death door. The Whipper goes down on its next turn, so we just have Pit Fighter left. So we can do Vulnerability. So we'll go to Death's Door. And then... Okay. And then Baldwin can get rid of his one stress. And that's that. I'm cool with that. Cut down Master the point, very nice. And blaze the trail to um, redemption. Don't think I'm going to be equipping that because we want the damage over the healing. In certain situations, it might be nice, but not what we're going for. Very nice to go to the candles. Uh, greater cleansing uh, sensors also very good. Brace up. There is danger on this path. If only I could get you have calculated your all of these carefully. things. There we go. Speak of the devil. Be easy. Here is our library. Let's see what happens. Because I have not been having good luck with this or the Leviathan. The library burns. With all going to and with first, it, we're going to pull the shaman. So we do not want it around. This is going to make sure it bleeds out. Just leaving these two. I was hoping he would go last, however. I suppose that is what it is. We're going to intimidate to make them go at him. Going to harvest, bleeding them. This one weakening him just in case. Dismiss is gonna bleed again. Think, oh no, he didn't actually get blood. So first row goes down. And we're going to slice off. Hopefully that takes him out. Very minimal damage, I'm happy about that. Alright. This fight again. So we're gonna do what we can. Take care of the shaman. He goes for Dismas though, so that's not great. Uh, open that vein. He'll just have to die on his next turn. Meaning, um, Baldwin is blinded, so we're gonna raise a bit instead of slice off. He's gonna go. Uh, intimidating. Well, 
Baldwin is next. We're actually gonna vulnerability. That's a little odd. Really, with vulnerability, that's all that it did. Huh. Um Shaman dies, so bleed pit fighter. On to the next. These two are in rows two and three technically, so we're harvesting, bleeding them both. Bleed, bleed, bleed. He should go to Death Store, I'm guessing. No, he'll be one away. Incremental, but deadly all the same. Ah, uh, we can pull the Whipper. Try to. Putting him at Death Door. Dismiss can. Advance. That should make him be taken out. And Fate Black blind the Pit Fighter. Alright, what do we got here? Boxing Gloves, always a good thing. Academics Map. Milk Soaked Linens are actually a good thing to have on Baldwin just in case. Snappy Swig can be very good for this group. Um, with some of the things that we can pick up. Burning damage dealt, charred litany, extra damage, burning damage dealt, but minus burn duration between those two, that would be plus four burn damage a turn, and then apply on crit four burn or three burn damage. So that would be seven burn damage on a crit. It's not bad, especially with um, extra crit on uh, slice off skills. Which can also apply bleeding. <laughs> the conflagration must be stopped. All right, so here, this is where we have to be, be a little bit destroyed. careful because I don't want to kill these books too quickly. So we're just gonna try to damage him right off the bat and combo him a little bit and try to get everything going at the bald one. Gonna do this. Advance. Um, Getting some attack back going on Dismiss for when attacks or AoEs go off. I think I'm at... If I use the Encore now, I can do a little extra damage to the Librarian with L, and then I can use it later on Dismiss when we really need it. We might be able to pull off, like a three on court fight or something like that. I doubt it, but it'll at least be a two. So we're gonna demon pull again, doing that little bit of damage, like I said. Um, it's not much, but it's something. Just gonna kinda keep at that. Dismiss doesn't want to hurt any of these, so we're having him move back by two. So Baldwin is kind of in range. Um don't want him doing any of that, so we're moving him forward. And now Sarmenti can keep doing stuff. He does that attack back we wanted. Alright. And now we don't want people really moving. We are going to use... What's his... We're going to use this so he's not as bleed resistant, but we're not going to use it right now because we want that dodge down. So what we're going to do is slice off, getting him bleeding if we can. Then, Demon Pull. No, Artillery does more damage. So that gets rid of that, and we had a chance at comboing him. We're going to Intimidate so we get the combo back, or not combo, taunt on him and weakening on him. We open Vein. For now, main duels, advance, 
your pulse is back. And there's that dodge again. So we're gonna wait a little bit again. Until oh, everyone can keep broke. doing stuff. We're gonna bleed them for more. Al's gonna try to combo again. Once again, can't hit who we want. This. This should put him. Oh no, that has one more turn. So moving him forward. Because he's gonna be in that next turn. And we want to kill him before he gets into the front. We're gonna use this now. As a debuff resistance, we're gonna slice off so we basically can bleed him. Whatever. Or whenever. Oh, that might have been misused. Oh well. It's not round, it was turn. <laughs> we can get Bleed him some more. Solemnity to heal and get rid of stress. And he's basically gonna go down. Oh, double death door. But now we have them where we want them, so we can do that. Easy peasy. Didn't even get to the front row. Kind of surprised. The one pleasant Mastery, indeed. flame, all the goodies. This work is noble and necessary. The loathing I think of Dismas is the one who doesn't have anything, so we're damage dealt, duration. Snappy swig, so he does get above um, eight speed. However, he can uh, get empowered or critical. This is for the jester, so when moving, has a chance to get crit. And if he ends in rank four, he'll get crit, but we'll make sure that doesn't happen. And I don't think we're going to be equipping that. All right, so now we want to go to the creature den, if we can help it. Which I don't see, so if it's not here, we missed it. And I'm going to try to avoid the low thing too, so. Or I suppose not every region has a creature den, but I really like going to creature dens, so souls of a dying world. Empty of hope. Wow, this one's humanity. easy. <laughs> I say, but it's probably going to do something. The fiend Alright, now can heal. Baldwin is not blinded. He can do this. This one's going to bleed out in two turns, so we just have this one. Uh, he doesn't have a way to reduce stress, so we're just going to forward. One down. Can't heal anymore, so we're just going to weakening. Vulnerability, I suppose. And bah. early results are encouraging. I suppose I could solemnity to get rid of stress. Probably should have done that. And before I, I forget, actually, with Sarmenti three to six to. Or and in combo, yeah, we're gonna do that.
Do do Wait. What do they got? Desperate few. Minus 25 flame, which we have quite a bit of, and I think we can make it. Oh, probably gonna grab that food. Two cheese. All right, I'm happy with that. And they are not happy with each other after that fight. <laughs> she weeps right, for the field fall, hospital. And knows what can we do here? Them soon enough. Curmudgeon. Probably need to get rid of that. So that's 16. Even the worst habits can be overcome. Fishbook fearing. Torn rotator is probably another one we need to get rid of. But let's check the pharmacy quick. Nothing in here that screams by me. So let's uh, get rid of Torn Rotator so Sarmenti can do more damage. It's 10% damage down is kind of big. And then Concoctions and Powder by 6 per stack. I don't plan on buying the Embalmic and Retort. So I think we can just move on. Might want to buy these. Thomas, tinctures and remedies. And then the Sarmenti. Let's save this fisherman's net. I do think that there's some stuff ahead. All right, especially if we get the um, shroud like I want that goes with the fisherman's net. So just having it equipped makes me do more bleeding damage, which goes really well with this group. So that'll be like a last ditch effort use thing. Alright, Oblivion's Rampart. I'm happy we got through this. And maybe we won't die. My Al. Hold the altar. I don't like it. Sarmenti. Get some stress down. And can harvest these guys, trying to bleed them and burn them. Didn't get the crit, so it didn't burn. The bleed is nice. Opening a vein. Bleeding. A very considerable amount. And we're going to intimidate. Let's go at him. Probably a good call already. Dismiss again, opening that vein. Uh, let's now go with the cherub. Spike. Oh no, wait first. Nolly, I'm getting that strip. Laudanium, however you pronounce that. Getting Dismas is stressed down, then we're getting Inspiring Tomb. Getting L stressed down. Alter goes down in one. Taking out this Evangelist with Baldwin. Pull the cherub, getting rid of a corpse. Oh, no corpse to get rid of, but never mind. Um, opening a vein, bleeding this thing more. Any being, however horrid, we are going can to be brought to heal. Get rid of a little more stress, not on him, because I think one more turn and we can use uh, Spiring Tune. So let's do it on Baldwin, and then we can harvest, bleeding them. Really hoping for that crit that's not happening. And then Evangelist. I think it goes down. Or Death Store on its turn, meaning the next turn it goes down. Kind of just waiting for this one to not have that heal on it. Yeah, 
demon pull again. Getting rid of the corpse from the front. Cherub goes. It's gonna move back by one. Let's die. Uh, do intimidate. So this one goes at him. Inspiring too many to get stressed down. Lovely attack back if it does an AoE. One more down. An invariable result. And then we are going to combo and weakening. Good little thing there. Opening that vein. The fiends strength bleed out pretty quickly now. And a solemnity to get rid of this little bit of stress manage what we can here. Going to bait to black combo. Got one HP. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I hit it with. It's got one HP. So I guess bone hacks. Bleeding it. And that would have been a nice thing to use that item he's got on it. Greater threat Another mastery. Um, healing given, but minus healing received from skills. Plus damage, minus HP. That uh, that could be good if paired with something good. I could, I could see that working really well on me Three of our four characters, Baldwin, could be hitting for like 40s, 50s with it. At last, respite within reach. And that is going to be the end of this run. We actually got to the end, thankfully. <laughs> um, we. I'm just going to see what is here. I, like I said in the beginning of this, I think. Um, I'm not going to do the end stuff any more at the end of the episodes just because it's been resetting now. Um, and I just realized oh, that, so here, I'll, I'll see what quirks and stuff I have and show everything that's there. The soul. Ooh, plus 10% range damage skills. Sermenti got... Oh, that's range skills, that doesn't matter. Dismiss got extra speed. You could ever slayer, not bad. And then that is pretty good and de-stressing but what i meant by that is like so say i decided to use some of these in items um i know like the only useful things that i'm not we got the rabbit and i want to stash this stuff but say i decided to use the boxing gloves right now on baldwin and um dismas and then i stopped the recording put out of the game because it's late um, when I came back to the game, the box and gloves would be back in my inventory. And then say I went to the mastery Listen. trainer and spent these four mastery points. Ooh. All the four mastery points would also be back in my inventory. So, um, just so I don't have to respend that, I'm going to wait until I start the next episode to do that from now on. Um, it's just something I noticed and it's been really bad. I'm not sure. And even stuff like uh, putting these trophies and stagecoach items and repairing. We're just going to take a look at the root. Um, of our land. Crumbling and armed. Quite honestly, I think the best thing that we can do for now is keep the complete catalog on because apply on crit burning damage is pretty good for this group. It's a moment's peace. We, we could try to go to the Foter and see if we can get the item, the plus 25 inventory slots there and see how much food we can stack up. That might be a viable option. And then, so we only have two regions to the mountain, it's probably not viable to get the Leviathan thing we need. So, I mean, it's a chance, but... I'm not seeing it happening, so uh, I think we're going to go to the Forger, see if we can get the inventory thing, but we're probably going to still stay with complete, complete catalog, and then maybe we'll get the Shroud, maybe we won't. 
and then after that we'll also do provisioner stuff. I know we don't have too much of it, but uh, yeah, we'll pick up from there next time. Um, I probably will be picking up a few items here that I see. A few of them are actually not too bad. Actually, I'll probably pick up the Iker bomb just so I can take out the Leviathan easier <laughs> and the combat stimulants, but that'll be most of the money right there, and that'll be that. So, um, yeah, that, that's it for this time. We will see what we can do and if we can continue on with this file or if I have just horrible luck again. Because, uh, as usual, great ambitions usually end very badly. So, as always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time, and please have a good one.